Have you ever wondered how apps like Zoom or WhatsApp let you start a video or audio call so easily? What if you could build something like that for your own website or project? In this video, we are going to create a simple but fully working video and audio call app using just HTML, CSS and JS. And the best part is that we don't need to set up a backend from scratch. We will use Zigo Cloud's UI kit which makes everything much faster and easier. So stay with me till the end because by the time we are done, you will have your own app where you can make video calls, audio calls mute and unmute and even invite others to join. Let's take a quick look at what we are building in this app. Here's the finished version. You will have a clean web interface where someone can start a video call and others can join instantly. The features you will get video and audio calls so you can see and hear others or choose one or the other. Simple mute, unmute buttons for mic control, turn camera on or off as needed, easy invite, share link function for other participants to join. It's all wrapped in a clean, minimal interface so nothing distracts from the call itself. All of this runs smoothly in your browser. Just click a button and you are live. All right. Before we examine the code, let me quickly introduce Zigo Cloud, the service powering our video and audio call app. Zigo Cloud is a platform that helps developers and companies build real-time communication into their apps like video calls, voice chats, live streaming and chat without dealing with deep backend work. They offer SDKs and APIs so you can focus on building your frontend. One of their coolest features is their UI kits. These are ready-made, pre-built interfaces, everything from video call and voice call UI to live streaming and chat, so you don't have to design your interface from scratch we are using their video and audio call ui kit in this video why is that great because it's super fast to set up low code and works across all platforms web mobile desktop plus when you sign up you get 10,000 free minutes to test and experiment with that's plenty for building testing and sharing your app early on all right now that you are familiar with the tool let's go ahead and set up our project step by step now let's start by signing up on Siku cloud when you go to their sign up page you will see a simple form where you need to enter your name country work email and password once you verify your your email your account is ready since i already have an account instead of signing up again i will just log in here's the console dashboard this is where you manage everything for your projects from creating new apps checking your usage to configuring all the details you need for your video or audio call app basically this is the control center where your project begins now let's create a new project i already have one created but to show you everything clearly let's go step by step and build a fresh one together so first click on create new project you will see two steps here in the first step we need to select a use case since we are building a video and audio call app, I will select that and then click next. Now give your project a name. One thing to note here is avoid using spaces in the name. Next, you will see two ways to get started. UI kits, these are pre-built, ready to use with just a few lines of code, perfect for quick setup and testing. SDKs, these gives you more control with lower level APIs but require more coding and customization. For this video, we will start with UI kits because they are much faster to integrate and perfect for our demo. Now we choose the platform. Since we are working on the web, I will select web. Then we select the features for our app. Under basic configuration, you can pick one-on-one -on -one call or group call. I will go with the default. You can also enable buttons for microphone, camera, audio settings, and even screen sharing. There are also optional modules like text chat and user list. And under advanced settings, you can decide if the mic or camera should be on automatically when joining. Zico Cloud also gives a quick note that enabling services may take a little time and some services may have usage costs beyond the free minutes. But for now, we are just focusing on testing with the free plan. When everything looks good, click save and start to integrate. Now you can actually run a web demo of your app right here in the browser to test the configuration. After that, you will get your app ID and server secret. These are really important credentials. Make sure you never share them publicly. In my video, I will hide mine for security. Finally, download the HTML starter file. This is the code we will update, style and integrate to make our video and audio call app work. Now let's go into the code and see how this works. When you download the starter project, you will get a simple file. Let's open it. At the top, you can see a little bit of CSS that makes our app take the full screen using the root div. That's where our video call interface will load. In the body, there is just a single div. This is the container where Zigo Cloud will place the call UI. Now let's look at the JavaScript part. Here we have some variables. Room ID, this decides which room we are joining. User ID and username. These are created randomly, so each user joining has their own identity. App ID 
and server secret these come from your zico cloud project then we generate a kit token which basically gives us permission to join the room next we create an instance of zico ui kit prebuilt and call join room inside this function you can see all the settings for our call the container is a root diff there's a shared link option so you can copy a link and let others join your call the scenario here is to set a video conference but you can use it for live streaming or other modes then there are options like turning the mic and camera on when joining showing toggle buttons audio video settings screen sharing text chat and user list finally for styling we can adjust our css to make the app look a little cleaner here i am giving the app a light purple theme the background of the page is a soft lavender shade the call container has rounded corners a subtle shadow and a soft purple border i also added a sample header bar in purple and made the buttons more rounded to look modern this way even with just a few lines of css we can make our app look personalized and more beautiful all right let's run the project in the browser and see how it works in real life when the app loads you will see the call interface right away i can join the room and instantly start a video call if i click here i can mute and unmute my microphone same with the camera i can turn it off or back on with a single click another really useful feature is that you can share the link with someone else when they join using that link they will appear in the same call you can test group calls or invite friends to join in the cool part is that all of this is handled by zico clouds ui kit so you don't need to write the complicated backend yourself and if you want to share your project online you can easily host it for free on platforms like netlify or versal just drag and drop your project folder and your live app will be available to anyone with the link so with just a few steps we have got a fully working video and audio call app running directly in the browser that's it if you want to try this out yourself check the links in the description you will even get 10,000 free minutes to start testing your app i would love to hear your ideas comment below and let me know what kind of real app you would like to build with this and if you found this helpful don't forget to hit subscribe for more coding tutorials thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video Thank you.